They're finally came. I just turned off the video recorder to, turn, to clean everything up and the dogs told me it came. So let's check it out. Um, this is called a red mambo, but that's not the term that we're used to. I've never heard of it before. It came from Collective Plants. Got it on Etsy. It's a neat box. Again, I need to buy myself a razor. This is a cool box, actually. Yeah, they all don't come this way. And I don't know, other than just searching uh, for this plant, I really wanted another like Capria. I love my Capria. Their color is so neat. I'm pretty sure as it gets older, though, it's going to lose the red, which is sad. But let's see. Okay. This is what it looks like. So it's got a neat little uh, label. Alocasia Red Mambo. What we got back here? Plant care tips. New and rare plants, variegated plants, collective plants, indoor plant delivery is easy, just click away. Huh. Check them out. There's no bugs like the others, which is wonderful. You know, you never know. Uh, I watched, I watched one of my planty videos this morning, and bless her heart, she opened up one of these, um, one of her plants, and there are adult thrips on them. And as you can imagine, she lost it. I would have lost it. Um, she was opened it in the middle of her plants like I do, assumingly that we, you know, it's going to be okay, um, but it wasn't. Okay, this is, looks good though. Um, this looks really good. This leaves are beautiful. Oh, look at it. I've got a new leaf growing too. Beautiful. So, thinking, what do I do? Um, I can go ahead and pot it up in tree fern and grit, but 
I really don't want to do that, guys. I like using the mollies. Got a wrap really good. Um, I felt it's got moist dirt in here. I've not, like I said, I haven't bought from these guys before, but looks like a shop I'll buy buying from. Not for a while, but eventually. Nursery pot. Some better days. Oh, they have it in tree fern. Yeah. Nice. They have it in tree fern, guys. Check this out. See it? It's all in tree fern. Now, I don't know. I don't know what else is in there, but I could easily just, if it's just tree fern, I'd be more than happy to transport that right into this. But I don't ever trust. Um, so I just want to see what they have. If it is tree fern, all tree fern, then that's what I'll do. Oh yeah, it is. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Oops, this is on some of the roots. It looks like there's two or three corms in here. I'm going to use this size. those but it all runs out eventually. This way I can spread them out somewhat. I will most likely well let's see. Let's add this. Likely, when Molly's come, report this. I don't want all of this uh, moisture, I don't think. 
I don't know. Every plant's different. And there's always a tree fern. For a while, I don't know if they just put him in or, you know, if he's been in it this whole time. risk I feel like with all tree fern obviously is there's no nutritional value um, and it holds moisture way too much in my opinion so which is why I added the LECA and the bonsai jack just some but That's it guys. Now I'm gonna go water him and clean up my mess and be done. Um take you with me. Hold on, I gotta get up. Oh it's getting harder. Absolutely beautiful. I really hope they stay this way. I don't want the green. Gorgeous. Do you see this new leaf coming? How big he's going to be. It's 
So my guess is this should stay in the light. I'm going to read up on it. So I'll probably peep him out here under the grow light in my, um, my pretty, my pretty, um, sorry, my pretty table my husband built me. Um, so I'll probably do that. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all I have for tonight. Um, thanks for joining me once again um, and bearing with me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my new beauties. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you later. Have a great night. Bye.